President Trump has proposed severe cuts to US government spending on energy research, development and demonstration. But Congress has the power of the purse and can rescue US innovation. If serious cuts are enacted, the pace of innovation will slow, harming the economy, energy security and global environmental quality. Writing recently in Nature Energy, Laura Anden, Kelly Gallagher and John Holdren highlighted the dangers facing the US energy sector and what could be done to rescue innovation across the industry. The Trump administration has proposed a 57% reduction in US government investments in energy research, development and demonstration from a $3.8 billion budget in 2017 to just $1.6 billion in 2018. These severe reductions, if enacted by Congress, would reduce the pace of US energy technology innovation, ultimately harming the US economy, energy security, environmental quality and the capability of the world's second largest emitter of greenhouse gases to do its fair share in reducing emissions that are driving climate change. This abdication of leadership would ultimately and adversely affect not just the US interests, but global interests as well. The last time we saw cuts as severe as those proposed were during the first Reagan term in 1982. These were motivated by a combination of plummeting oil prices in the early 1980s, indications that the costs of synthetic fuel or synth fuels were larger than originally predicted, and the belief that the private sector could do most of the energy R&D that was warranted. As the authors of the Nature Report indicate, the justification for still deeper cuts in federal energy innovation funding, now proposed by the Trump administration, has even flimsier basis than those we saw three decades ago. For example, not only are oil prices now rising again, but the complementary roles of government and private sector funding in energy technology innovation are better understood. And, perhaps most importantly, there is now an immensely powerful public goods argument for government investments to accelerate low carbon innovation and thus address the challenges of climate change. The proposals to slash the federal government's investment in R&D seems to be based on three propositions. The first is that the human role in whatever global climate change is going on is uncertain. And secondly, that being so, the expansion of incumbent fossil fuel technologies should be the energy strategy of choice. And finally, to the extent that any advances over these technologies should be thought desirable, that the private sector alone can be relied upon to pay for the required innovations. None of these proposals, of course, finds much support in the extensive international peer-reviewed literature addressing these topics. The multi-trillion dollar externalities of the incumbent fossil fuel technologies are extremely well documented. Furthermore, the economic literature shows that the private sector will never invest as much in basic research and early stage applied research as the interests of society require. A slowdown in the pace of energy technology innovation in the United States would be catastrophic to the competitiveness of the US energy technologies in global markets, where other countries are speeding up their efforts. In fact, if we look globally, many of the energy technologies originally developed in the United States and Europe are now being led by China, which is the global manufacturer of solar panels and wind turbines, and it is positioning itself to capture newer markets such as electric vehicles. And on Gallagher and Holdren's critique of the proposed cuts in Nature Energy was not to suggest there are no options for improving the effectiveness of the US government's investments in energy R&D. Researchers found, for example, that the productivity of Department of Energy investments can be increased through effective use of public-private partnerships. Having said this, every study has concluded that these kinds of improvements need to be accompanied by a substantial increase in total public funding for energy technology innovation. If the immense challenges at the intersection of energy supply, the economy, public health and global climate change are to be met, they have to be supported. In short, deep, blind cuts will be a dangerous folly to the US.